Australia and the UK have a long and proud history of working side by side. While we may have our moments of rivalry, like the ashes, we know how to come together for the benefit of our nations, and the space sector is no different. The space bridge truly brings us together in space. I'm proud to be working alongside UK and Australian counterparts as we find new ways to catalyse investment into our sectors and really foster that spirit of international collaboration. We're working with Spire Global UK to monitor and classify Antarctic sea ice from space using a technology that's very similar to the way your phone can find its location. With the support of SpaceBridge, uh, we hope to continue our research and better understand how Antarctic sea ice is responding in a warming world and its impact on long-term climate predictability. We are using deep learning artificial intelligence to connect our data with other spaceborne sensors, as well as sensors on the flows detecting wave motion. Combining this with data from our nanosatellite constellation reveals changing sea ice characteristics and gives insight for future expeditions into the ice. We're looking at our remote sensing, which is using measured reflected light can help plant breeders do a better job at creating new or improved crop varieties. So the way plants reflect specific wavelengths of light tells us important things about the plant. We've wanted to collaborate with DCAT and Intergrain but haven't had the resources. So the Space Bridge Grant has given us the opportunity to start that collaboration and it's a really natural fit. We were delighted to be given the chance to work with the Adelaide University's plant phenomics facility uh, and to work with Intergreen um, in order to push forward the, the possibilities of hyperspectral processing that we can bring to agriculture. So working with the Space Bridge has really helped raise the profile of this technology and its possibilities for agriculture. LabConnect 60 formed a partnership with SSTL under the auspices of the Space Bridge to co-own capacity of a high-resolution Earth observation satellite. The Space Bridge has helped us accelerate our plans for a national satellite capability, boosting Australia's and the Indo-Pacific region's strategic observation capabilities. Symbios is leading the Cal Valve Space Bridge project, which is about making the most of data from Earth observation satellites, so that data is fit for purpose for as many users as possible. Both the UK and Australia have world-leading capabilities in this area. Both countries plan special satellite missions over the next few years to take advantage of this capability. In this project, we want to see how AI can help us to use new radio spectrum for providing faster internet coverage. Thanks to SpaceBridge, it provided the link between this expertise in Australia and the use case and experience at OneWeb in the UK. This is an excellent stepping stone for further collaboration so we can help building a brighter future for both our nations and the world.